rant and rave. Here we go. Let's first start with the XFL. Is it worth watching, Tucker? How much have you watched of the XFL? Well, the first week I watched as, most, as much of the games as I could, but NASCAR is in kind of full gear now. So for me, at least on Sundays, yeah. I'm watching NASCAR, and other people may watch college basketball or whatever, but I still am keeping up with the team I picked at the beginning of the season. So I'm following it, but not really watching it that closely. I, you know, I just can't. I'm just, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm too SEC heavy with the yeah. football, and so I'm, I'm, I need to check it out and see because I've heard there are interesting rules changes that are a little mm -hmm. interesting. So I, I need to check it out more, but so far it hasn't gotten my attention. But it sounds like that it's doing well overall uh, yeah. after the obvious little surge at the beginning, so we'll see if it catches on. All right, speaking of football, Georgia, of course, made a big move with the hiring of Scott Cochran. Uh, Tucker knows all about him because yeah. this is a wacko at Alabama yeah, yeah, yeah. that was just crazy on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. And, you know, will he make a difference in Georgia? Look, Kirby Smart at Touchdown Club on Monday said, hey, this guy can make a difference. And I yeah. think he can. Just the energy and the passion he brings to the program. The kids are going to see that. They're going to sense that. And as you know, Tuck, from just watching what happens in the SEC, he had a big reputation in Alabama for making an impact over there. Yeah, I mean, he was the weightlifting coach, essentially. I guess there was a fancier title, but he was on the team's video uh, entrance board, uh, video board for the fans to hype him up. He's got the title of special teams coach at Georgia, but don't think he'll be in the weight room uh, hyping those guys up and also, as you said, on the sideline. Yeah, he had his own TV commercial yeah. over there at Alabama, so he was a popular cat. All right, baseball now. Can Felix Hernandez rebound for the Braves. It looks like Tuck, he's going to have the fifth starter's job, maybe even the fourth starter's job. And I saw him last week in spring training. I was shocked at how thin he looked. He looked in great shape because he got a little sloppy in Seattle. He looked good, and I think, hey, maybe he can do what Julio Tehran did for this team last year. Maybe he can, and you're right. He's looked all right in spring training, but if you look at the numbers for him in the last four years, there's a clear downtrend. Every year, it's a little yep. worse. Every year, no, no bounces up in ERA. So, over the long haul, I think it's bad news, but we'll see. Will the change the National League help him? He says it will. We'll have to see about that. And finally, should we be concerned about Freddie Freeman's elbow? He got it surgically repaired, but he's been a little slow at spring training, Tuck. What do you think? Well, he's battled the problem for a while, and it never really slowed him down. I know that maybe there's a change now with the repair. I don't think there's reason to worry, though. There, They'll be fine. I hope he'll be fine. I think he will. They may have to back up a little bit early on, but hopefully mm -hmm. he'll be okay because they can still afford to have Freddie Freeman out of that lineup. Great. There is Rent and Rate for this week.